Hold. 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 I have not cleaned this thing in a while because honestly, it's a pain to get back together once you break it down. We are gonna break it down. I'm gonna clean it off camera and then I'm gonna put it back together. But first, what are we even looking at? This is a Winchester Model 12. Primarily I use it for trap shooting. This has a full choke barrel on it. So it is a 31 inch barrel. Thing is chambered in 12 gauge. I've only shot two and three quarters. I don't think it's recommended to shoot magnum loads in this. I don't really have much on it. I've got a mossy oak shell holder on it, which isn't that great. It, honestly, it kind of rides up while I'm using it, but it looks cool, fully loaded, and that's what matters. Also has this nice squishy butt pad. I think this was put on after the fact. I'm not sure, I, I picked it up with this on. It has this little plunger that comes off uh, for when it's standing up in a safe. It's got a safety on it. When it's red, it's ready to go. And when it's not, it is safe has a slide lock right here. Loading it can be a little tricky. As you're pushing in the next shell, the last shell wants to push out. So you really have to catch it and then roll your thumb so that the feed ramp locks it into place. And they just come spilling out like that. When I first got this, my form wasn't that great. And I held the end back a little bit far and it bit into my the meaty part of my hand uh only did that once never again watch out because that sucked let's break this thing down take this thing off just slides off like that take off this little plunger first things first we are going to remove the barrel so first you need to unlock the mag tube it has this pin Push it in till it won't go any further. Then you're gonna wanna rotate it. So the mag magazine tube has these arrows on it. When they are pointing at each other, it's lined up, it's ready to go. And you're gonna rotate this. So if it's facing away, it's going clockwise. And that will get those arrows out of alignment. And then you can just pull the magazine forward. That allows you to also pull the forend a little bit more forward. So then your slide lock isn't locked to your bolt. And then you can just twist it. So you're twisting it, it's facing away this way. You're going clockwise. Rotates away, and there you go. I'm only gonna break this down to field strip it to clean it. I'm not gonna break down the magazine or the trigger assembly. I've broken down the magazine tube once. Uh, it can be a little tricky getting it back together just because there's a lot of little parts. So you've got these screws on both sides that feed into each other. You have to unscrew those. That'll undo this clamp and then that'll allow you to get the tube away from the barrel and then to open up the end of the tube, there's a little screw here and a little screw here, undo those. This will all come out. There's a spring in here, so watch out that that doesn't go shooting out. You could get in there with a boar snake or something to clean that out if you wanted to. For the rest, all we need is a flathead to remove this screw right here. So then you just kind of pull up towards the back with the trigger assembly and then that'll come out this way and that's how it's going to go back in. When we go through this I'll go in more detail but you're going to feed it in this way. So there's your trigger assembly. Like I said I've never broken this down. I've never had a, any issues with it. You can actually get in there pretty well with a brush if you're moving things around on the feed ramp 
goes up so you can clean under there. Pull the trigger, which will send the hammer forward. You can clean in here. So you can do a pretty good job at, at cleaning this with this thing assembled. Cartridge cutoff piece. Likes to be seated in there. When we put this in, it's got this little button right here. Fits right into this kind of divot right there. Just seats in nice and flat. And then before we pull out the barrel, there's an ejector spring that can be a little tricky getting out and getting in. That's probably one of the hardest parts of the reassembly is getting this thing in to seat correctly. To get it out is just use the same flathead, kind of gently pry it back. And then it'll just kind of pop out. Now your bolt is pretty locked in there. I'll show this once I actually have it out. There's two notches. And if you go in with your same flathead and kind of pop the one notch back, it'll slide back. And then you also need to angle this to get it out. Makes it easier. And that is fully stripped. These are the notches I was talking about. So this is what I was pushing up against with the flathead. So that's fuel stripped. And now we're gonna put it back together in the reverse order. I'm gonna start with the bolt. And so we're gonna feed it in this way first. Kind of angle it in. There's some, there's a couple of channels, like grooves in here. There and there. And that's what you're gonna feed how you're gonna feed it in. So you're gonna push it in. It takes a little bit of kind of some jiggling sometimes. And then, yeah. Push that forward. If you wanted to, you could lock this back into place with your flathead to make it a little bit easier. So now that's, that's seated. So what I did is instead of this back knob, the front knob I pushed towards the bolt. To lock that into place. And we're gonna put in the ejector spring. This spring part, this part, is gonna go against the wall. This part with the kind of notch is gonna face the bolt. And this is the trickiest part. Just kind of. So what I do, get it in. So I've got it lined up. The spring is underneath the bolt now. I'm gonna push the other side and just kind of slide it forward and it'll just go into its little channel. There we go. Now that's locked in. Cartridge cut off. Again, this little nub goes into this recess right there. Fits in nice and flat. There we go. Sometimes you got to play with it. It doesn't, it, sometimes it'll sit in there and it'll be a little bit angled up. Uh, if you have it that way, it, it, you won't be able to get this in properly. So again, you really want that as flush as possible. So play with it until, it, until you feel it sit in there. And then as I was saying, you're gonna feed this in this way. These little notches right there line up with notches here and here. So you feed everything in but kind of before this, this like these ramps right here. So feed it in, get that lined up. Then you're gonna feed these in right underneath that. Then you basically just angle it in. If you've done everything correctly up to this point, it'll go pretty flush here. And put your screw in. Barrel. So we're gonna feed it in sideways to 
twist it counterclockwise until it's flush. You need to catch this action slide. So when you're pulling this back in, it helps if you push in the slide lock. And that will push your barrel back. It'll seat everything properly. Now, just and that'll also push in your magazine tube. Twist this, and then push this through. Now, pull your foreign, foreign. So those arrows are nice and lined up now. Do a functionality check, push your slide lock in. Safety works. Sure works. And that's it. A couple assembly tips. Lock the bolt into place. Put the ejector spring in the right way. When you've got everything back together and you're about to pull your forend back, push in the, the slide lock and that'll make everything so much easier. The Winchester Model 12 in all of its glory. All right, if that was helpful, please like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.